Then it's me to the ring by Ganger. From Toledo, Ohio, is the silencer, Fred Smith. The action continues here at Aftermath. Hooks at ringside with the resident male diva, Dick Rick. Yeah, diva. I think it's a pretty fitting name for you. I resent that comment. Well, you resemble that comment. Brad Smith, who tried to get involved. A good looking man. Who tried to get involved in this television title match earlier to open the show. And his opponent. Being told he's going to come out here tonight and face the daredevil of extreme tack. Important to remember, Brad Smith actually holds a victory over tack by some controversial means, to say the least. Coming from Fargo, North Dakota, Tag! It's quite obvious who the crowd is behind here. I don't know what you mean. I, didn't you hear the ovation for Brad Smith? They love him. I, well, they, they reacted to him. I wouldn't say they love him. Oh, great. Great. Now Brad Smith has the microphone. Congrats. Okay, okay, great. Ah. Ah. Hold on, hold on, back up, back up. Let's attack. Let's a this, this is very important. Silence, silence. This He's is very important. He's requiring silence. Okay, Tack. I know. Silence, silence. Let's attack. I know, I know things got a little heated Tuesday. Emotions ran. Yeah, yes, I realize that, Tack. I'm very hey, sorry. Some bolts. And that's what I'm getting to here. Crack him in the skull Listen. with it. Listen, Tack, I came here tonight for a TV title match. Obviously, that didn't happen. But, okay. I want you to back up, back up. Listen. Hold on. Ganger, Ganger down. Ganger. Come on. Get in, get in, get in. Yeah, hold on. On our knees, on our knees. Look at this, look at this, Tack. We're on our knees. We're very sorry about Tuesday. Oh, please. What the world? Tonight, tonight, let's just have, a, let's just have, this let's is just pathetic. have a high quality wrestling match. Yes, great fight, a high quality wrestling match. I can't tell if they're proposing or pleasuring. not gonna be involved, we'll just, we'll exchange Would a you few stop holds. It? Uh, and the better man will win, and whatever. There won't be any ranch, any monkey business, any punches, whatever. Well, Brad okay. Smith. Accept the apology. An I, insincere I apology because he doesn't want to face the wrath attack here tonight. If you saw him Tuesday, like you said, he'd beat Tack on Tuesday. I don't see what would be any different tonight. With the help of a wrench to the head. It was an accident. How, how does a wrench accidentally end up in your I hand? I told you, he had to tighten some bolts up, some nuts and bolts, and Tag just happened to get in the way. It was his well, own fault. Maybe he should save his handiwork for when he's not wrestling. Sometimes you you got to multitask. And Brad Smith, kind of like you are here at the table, uh, reading messages and I eating tuna. Messages coming to me. Back to the action at hand. Brad Smith thus far getting what he wanted, a, a scientific wrestling match, going down to the mat with Tag. Brad Smith, a multifaceted persona, just like myself. He's an author. He's a wrestler. Me, myself, well, I'm many, many things. We don't need to get into it. Yeah, One a of lot of things. things. The greatest superstar ever in the HWA here. Aside from that, the greatest orator to ever grace. You're saying you have great oral skills. Any microphone. What? Isn't that what you just said? That's correct. Oh, well. Now you heard it here, folks. Yeah. I got the scoop. Tack really wrenching on the arm of Brad Smith. Brad Smith clawing his way over to the ropes. Gets that foot on the bottom rope. Tack forced to break the hold, and he does. Brad Smith showing his respect towards the Daredevil of Extreme, however fake it may be. Colin Obo tie up. Tack working over that arm. He's bringing it down across his own shoulder. Well, this does not look good for Brad Smith. Gets that right shoulder up. Tack just drives that knee down. 
See, this is, again, I'm talking about it, these knees. They should be outlawed. Very dangerous. We're outlawing the knee in professional wrestling. Yes. All right. Well, we'll bring that up with the commission. We'll bring it up the next meeting. Good luck. Are there are meetings for that? Yep, Why haven't I ever been invited? Well, take a hint. A very important figure. Both men back to their feet. And once again, Brad Smith gets to the ropes. Not a bad tactic. Tactic. <laughs> uh, made a pun. Brad Smith calling for three out of five. Three out of five what? Have they even had a pinfall yet? Never mind. Brad Smith backed into the corner. Will Tack give the clean break? He does. Oh. I can't imagine Brad Smith would have done the same. He's a nice guy. Will Brad Smith return the oh, oh, look at this. Imitating the Daredevil of Extreme. Calling for quiet so we can hear the knife edge chopping. Listen to the crickets chirp in the arena. Oh, here we Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, that sucks. Oh, we're going back for another. Oh, are you kidding me? Like a sonic boom. It's like a crack of thunder. Grundle, or what, what do they call this other guy on the outside? Um, him, do something. Him. Grundle, is that his name? Ganger, that's Ganger. Oh. Ganger, sorry. One of your fellow oh, competitors so here. I, I didn't read the side of his Read the side of his tights. Well, that GED would come in handy. I just, I can't remember these things. I was going to say that would be very odd that his name is Grundle because I had, wrote, had written a poem about the Grundle. It's called Ode to Grundle. Well, maybe when the cameras are shut off and no one else is in the arena, you can read it to someone. I might be able to. A test of strength that Brad Smith didn't have a chance at hell of winning. But give the man credit. He's doing everything he can to keep those shoulders off the canvas. Getting back to his feet, but forced back. Oh, wait a minute. No. Up and over, Tack rolls through. And Brad Smith does not want to try and match strength and power with the Daredevil of Extreme. That's what you'd think at first glance, but, uh, you know, he might appear to be smaller. Well, he is smaller. It's not just appearance. Wow. He, he's physically smaller than Tack. In that, yeah. See? All right, well, see? According to Ganger, Brad just played Wonder with him. Looks like he's got him right where he wants him. He's got Tack suckered in now, doesn't he? He probably does. It's, you see, in that, in that smaller, sporty package, that was a dirty move right there. But in that smaller, sporty package of, of, uh, of Brad Smith, you know, he's got a lot of strength. Did you say small, explodey package? No. What are you thinking about? What? Have you been hanging out with Gumbo a little too much here? Once in a while, yes. Uh, I don't really know what's going on around here anymore. And Brad Smith trying to get some leverage, going up top. He's definitely got a leverage advantage, but I don't think he thought this one through as he comes crashing down face first into the canvas. I think he was the only one that didn't see that coming. This guy's an award-winning author. You can't do things like well, that to Brad him. Brad Smith did write a novel. The Extra Mile, if you want information on how you can pick up that novel, go to hwaonline.com. Is that book about uh, Dick Rick? It's not about Dick Rick. There's no. no pictures of you in it anywhere. Well, I always go that extra mile, so I was just curious. Maybe someday you can inspire Brad to write a little something about you. Perhaps I might. Irish whip. Oh. Tilda Whirl, backbreaker. You know, i got to be quite honest. He was very close to getting that silencer strapped on right there. Well, very astute observation. Brad Smith has been known to slap on that silencer submission hold out of nowhere. Unfortunately, I had it once, but uh, then I had to slap him around. And wait a minute, keep your eyes on Ganger. Going to try and loosen up the feet. Joe Cope has, keep Brother, an eye on him. Do something. Baseball oh. slide right into the mush. Mush. 
And look at this, Ganger ropes, takes ropes, the foot. Ropes, ropes. You got to keep an eye on Ganger on the outside. He's always willing and able to get involved in any match involving Brad Smith. He doesn't have a manager's license. What's he doing out here? What are friends for? Would you know? Do you have any? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Take it. Oh. Is this what friends are for, to mug your yeah. opponents? You just see me and John Moxley, we watch out for each other. And now our, our newly aligned partner, Eric Darkstorm. A trio of terror That's indeed. Ball, that should be Stryker right there. Now Brad Smith taking it to the outside as well. Now that he's let Ganger soften up tack for him. He almost chopped the entire front row. Well, Brad Smith cleared up the crowd. He's uh -oh. apparently going to get hardcore. This crowd needs to watch out. Yes. Hardcore Brad Smith. Oh, look at this. Oh. And look at Brad Smith mocking the crowd. Oh, no. That's illegal. Well, it looks like the crowd got more than they bargained for, but I think they enjoyed it. The crowd distracted him. Tag should be disqualified for having the crowd on his Brad side. Smith should be paying attention to his opponents. The crowd, the crowd was illegally involved. The crowd's sitting behind the guardrail where they're supposed to yeah. be. Illegally involved. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you. I don't deal with these shenanigans. It's Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery. Another partner of yours? Oh, possibly. Whip into the corner, reverse, Brad Smith up and over. No, wait a minute. Tack catches him, and what goes up must come oh down, boy. and it comes down hard. Tack rolls through, only gets the two count. Brad Smith once again finding those ropes. See, I told A geographical you. awareness. He always knows where he's at in that ring. Grundle, Ganger, he gives good... Good That's support. Ganger. He was right up there in the middle of the ropes saying, hey, get up, buddy. Get up, my friend. Yeah. Damn it, that was just what he needed, and Brad Smith was up. And now he's up on top again. And now what's he doing now? Explain this one to me. He's How is this him, legal? He's saying, hey, buddy, you're doing a good job, but you're not going to beat Brad. He's saying that with his fist. Oh, he did. If you would have seen like I saw, he was right up in his ear saying, hey, buddy. I don't want to see anything like hey. you see it. Joe Copez needs to have Ganger escorted out of this building. I'm not doing nothing wrong. All right. I maybe agree I'm, with him. Maybe I'm watching a different match. Why you keep running your mouth all the time. I call him like I see him. You know, he's got eyes on his back. Don't come over here and slap you around. Well, I noticed that. He's watching me, looking me right in the eye. Exactly. Come on, Brad, get up there. You don't mess with a man with eyes on his back. Well, that's always been one of my rules. Brad Smith throwing punches. Tack throwing those punches right back. Drop kick right to the cranium. Did you hear that crack? Might have fractured his skull. Throws a forearm. Brad Smith sitting to the ropes. Eats a clothesline. I got to say, in all honesty, so those are some of the uh, roughest forearms I might have ever eaten. That still doesn't take away from the fact that, uh, you know, a slap tack around any day of the week. And Ganger once again up on the apron where he doesn't belong. Joe Cope has over. Baldy? They're both bald. Tack not quite as bald as Ganger. Now, Ganger actually getting into the ring. Now, explain this to me. Explain how this is legal. Explain how he belongs in there. More, he hasn't done anything. Well, Ganger might have ended up face first in the canvas, but it gave Brad Smith the opportunity he needed. And Brad Smith doing everything he can uh -oh. to avoid the uh -oh. dare. Now, wait, but the silencer. Uh -oh. He's got it. He's got it locked in. Tack running around blindly. Wait a minute. Didn't look like he quite had it on very well, though. 
That could be the end right there. And and Brad Smith giving Ganger some sort of some sort of instruction. I don't know what this. Wait, he was what, saying, what, hey, look, Ganger he, he has got that wrench in his hand. Hey, buddy, look, got he's got that more. wrench in his right hand. Was he tightening more bolts? Oh boy. Wait a minute. Tack has the wrench. Brad Smith crying in the corner like a little baby. What is going on here? He hit him with the wrench. No, he didn't. Uh, what are yeah. you talking about? You blinked for a second. You missed it. Tag just caught that wrench. He intercepted it. Brad Smith with an Academy Award winning performance Ladies over there. Crying like a little girl. There's one thing I can't stand around here. It's cheap. Brad Smith. He deserves to be thrown out, suspended, whatever it is. Well, Brad Smith picks up the win via disqualification. And the Daredevil of Extreme, frustrated, understandably so. What do you mean frustrated? He's the one that brought the wrench in there. You're watching a different match than yeah, you me. You blinked too long. You were sleeping over there. Fans, we got a lot more action to come. Again. Don't go away. We'll be right back.